Chapter 45. Moreover, when you divide by lot the land for inheritance, you shall offer an offering to Yahweh, a holy portion of the land. The length shall be the length of 25,000 reeds, and the width shall be 10,000. It shall be holy in all its border all around. Of this there shall be a 500 by 500 square for the holy place, and 50 cubits for its pasture lands all around. Of this measure you shall measure a length of 25,000, and a width of 10,000. And it shall be the sanctuary, which is most holy. It is a holy portion of the land. It shall be for the priests, the ministers of the sanctuary, who come near to minister to Yahweh. It shall be a place for their houses and a holy place for the sanctuary. 25,000 cubits in length and 10,000 in width shall be for the Levites, the ministers of the house, as a possession for themselves, for 20 rooms. You shall appoint the possession of the city 5,000 cubits wide and 25,000 long, side by side with the offering of the holy portion. It shall be for the whole house of Israel. What is for the prince shall be on the one side and on the other side of the holy allotment and of the possession of the city, in front of the holy allotment and in front of the possession of the city, on the west side westward and on the east side eastward, and in length corresponding to one of the portions, from the west border to the east border, and the land it shall be to him for a possession in Israel. My princes shall no more oppress my people, but they shall give the land to the house of Israel according to their tribes. The Lord Yahweh says, Enough you, princes of Israel. Remove violence and plunder, and execute justice and righteousness. Stop dispossessing my people, says the Lord Yahweh. You shall have just balances, and just effort, and a just bath. The effort and the bath shall be of one measure, that the bath may contain one-tenth of a homer, and the effort one-tenth of a homer. Its measure shall be the same as the homer. The shekel shall be twenty jars. Twenty shekels plus twenty-five shekels plus fifteen shekels shall be your mina. This is the offering that you shall offer, the sixth part of an ephah from a homer of wheat, and you shall give the sixth part of an ephah from a homer of barley, and the set portion of oil, of the bath of oil, one-tenth of a bath out of the core, which is ten baths, even a homer, and one lamb of the flock out of two hundred, from the well-watered pastures of Israel, for a meal offering, for a burnt offering, and for peace offerings, to make atonement for them, says the Lord Yahweh. All the people of the land shall give to this offering for the prince in Israel. It shall be the prince's part to give the burnt offerings, the meal offerings, and the drink offerings, and the feasts, and on the new moons, and on the Sabbaths, and all the appointed feasts of the house of Israel. He shall prepare the sin offering, the meal offering, the burnt offering, and the peace offerings to make atonement for the house of Israel. The Lord Yahweh says, In the first month, on the first day of the month, you shall take a young bull without defect, and you shall cleanse the sanctuary. The priest shall take of the blood of the sin offering and put it on the doorposts of the house, and on the four corners of the ledge of the altar, and on the posts of the gate of the inner court. So you shall do on the seventh day of the month for everyone who errs, and for him who is simple. So you shall make atonement for the house. In the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month, you shall have the Passover, a feast of seven days, and leavened bread shall be eaten. On that day the prince shall prepare for himself and for all the people of the land a bull for a sin offering. The seven days of the feast he shall prepare a burnt offering to Yahweh, seven bulls and seven rams without defect daily the seven days, and a male goat daily for a sin offering. He shall prepare a meal offering, an ephah for a bull, an ephah for a ram, and a hin of oil to an ephah. In the seventh month, on the fifteenth day of the month, during the feast, he shall do like that for seven days. He shall make the same provision for sin offering, the burnt offering, the meal offering, and the oil. Chapter 46 The Lord Yahweh says, The gate of the inner court that looks toward the east shall be shut the six working days, but on the Sabbath day it shall be opened, and on the day of the new moon it shall be opened. The prince shall enter by the way of the porch of the gate outside, and shall stand by the post of the gate, and the priest shall prepare his burnt offering and his peace offerings, and he shall worship at the threshold of the gate. Then he shall go out, but the gate shall not be shut until the evening. The people of the land shall worship at the door of that gate before Yahweh on the Sabbaths and on the new moons. The burnt offering that the prince shall offer to Yahweh shall be on the Sabbath day, six lambs without defect and a ram without defect. And the meal offering shall be an ephah for the ram, and the meal offering for the lambs as he is able to give, and a hin of oil to an ephah. On the day of the new moon it shall be a young bull without defect, six lambs, and a ram. They shall be without defect. He shall prepare a meal offering, an ephah for the bull, and an ephah for the ram, and for the lambs according as he is able, and a hin of oil to an ephah. When the prince enters, he shall go in by the way of the porch of the gate, and he shall go out by its way. But when the people of the land come before Yahweh in the appointed feasts, he who enters by the way of the north gate to worship shall go out by the way of the south gate, and he who enters by the way of the south gate shall go out by the way of the north gate. He shall not return by the way of the gate by which he came in, but shall go out straight before him. The prince shall go in with them when they go in. 
when they go out, he shall go out. In the feasts and in the appointed holidays, the meal offering shall be an ephah for a bull and an ephah for a ram, and for the lambs as he is able to give, and a hin of oil to an ephah. When the prince prepares a freewill offering, a burnt offering or peace offerings is a freewill offering to Yahweh. One shall open for him the gate that looks toward the east, and he shall prepare his burnt offering and his peace offerings, as he does on the Sabbath day. And he shall go out, and after his going out one shall shut the gate. You shall prepare a lamb a year old without defect for a burnt offering to Yahweh daily. Morning by morning you shall prepare it. You shall prepare a meal offering with it morning by morning, the sixth part of an ephah, and the third part of a hin of oil to moisten the fine flour, a meal offering to Yahweh continually by a perpetual ordinance. Thus they shall prepare the lamb, the meal offering, and the oil morning by morning for a continual burnt offering. The Lord Yahweh says, If the prince gives a gift to any of his sons, it is his inheritance. It shall belong to his sons. It is their possession by inheritance. But if he gives of his inheritance a gift to one of his servants, it shall be his to the year of liberty. Then it shall return to the prince. But as for his inheritance, it shall be for his sons. Moreover, the prince shall not take of the people's inheritance to thrust them out of their possession. He shall give inheritance to his sons out of his own possession, that my people not each be scattered from his possession. And he brought me through the entry, which was at the side of the gate, into the holy rooms for the priests, which looked toward the north. Behold, there was a place on the back part westward. He said to me, This is the place where the priests shall boil the trespass offering and the sin offering, and where they shall bake the meal offering, that they not bring them out into the outer court to sanctify the people. And he brought me out into the outer court, and caused me to pass by the four corners of the court. And behold, in every corner of the court there was a court. In the four corners of the court there were courts enclosed, forty cubits long and thirty wide. These four in the corners were the same size. There was a wall around in them, around the four, and boiling places were made under the walls all around. Then he said to me, These are the boiling houses, where the ministers of the house shall boil the sacrifice of the people. Chapter 47 He brought me back to the door of the temple, and behold, waters flowed out from under the threshold of the temple eastward, for the front of the temple faced toward the east. The waters came down from underneath, from the right side of the temple, on the south of the altar. Then he brought me out by the way of the gate northward, and led me around by the way outside to the outer gate, by the way of the gate that looks toward the east. Behold, waters ran out on the right side. When the man went out eastward with the line in his hand, he measured one thousand cubits, and he caused me to pass through the waters, waters that were to the ankles. Again he measured one thousand, and caused me to pass through the waters, waters that were to the knees. Again he measured one thousand, and caused me to pass through waters that were to the waist. Afterward he measured one thousand, and it was a river that I could not pass through, for the waters had risen, waters to swim in, a river that could not be walked through. He said to me, Son of man, have you seen this? And he brought me and caused me to return to the bank of the river. Now when I had returned, behold, on the bank of the river were very many trees on the one side and on the other. Then he said to me, These waters flow out toward the eastern region and will go down into the Arab. Then they will go toward the sea and flow into the sea which will be made to flow out, and the waters will be healed. It will happen that every living creature which swarms in every place where the rivers come, will live. Then there will be a very great multitude of fish, for these waters have come there, and the waters of the sea will be healed, and everything will live wherever the river comes. It will happen that fishermen will stand by it. From Enjedi even to Eneglim will be a place for the spreading of nets. Their fish will be after their kinds, as the fish of the great sea, exceedingly many. But its swamps marshes will not be healed. They will be given up to salt. By the river banks on both sides will grow every tree for food, whose leaf won't wither, neither will its fruit fail. It will produce new fruit every month, because its waters issue out of the sanctuary. Its fruit will be for food, and its leaf for healing. The Lord Yahweh says, This shall be the border by which you shall divide the land for inheritance according to the twelve tribes of Israel. Joseph shall have two portions. You shall inherit it, one as well as another, for I swore to give it to your fathers. This land will fall to you for inheritance. This shall be the border of the land on the north side, from the great sea, by the way of Hethlan, to the entrance of Sedat, Hamath, Berata, Sibrim, to Hazer Hadikan, which is by the border of Horon. The border from the sea shall be Hazar Enon at the border of Damascus, and on the north northward is the border of Hamath. This is the north side. The east side, between Horon, Damascus, Gilead, and the land of Israel, shall be the Jordan. From the north border to the east sea you shall measure. This is the east side. The south side southward shall be from Tamar as far as the waters of Meribot Kadesh to the brook. To the great sea, this is the south side southward. The west side shall be the great sea from the south border as far as opposite the entrance of Hamath. This is the west side. So you shall divide this land to yourselves according to the tribes of Israel. You shall divide it by lot for an inheritance to you and to the aliens who live among you, who will father children among you. Then they shall be to you as the native born among the children of Israel. 
they shall have inheritance with you among the tribes of Israel. In whatever tribe the stranger lives, there you shall give him his inheritance, says the Lord Yahweh. 